pronounce that. Pew, Pew Garrett's, I don't know. Um, Montreal Express. Good afternoon, it's finally Friday, and it actually was about 102 earlier, and it's, oh my god, it's the humidity, it feels like 109. The uh, air conditioner thing is still running, although we do have a swollen gold capacitor, so it All right, we're here again. Get some odds and ends. Put some money on a debit card over here at the local Squall Mart. And uh, here's a rare occurrence. We got a best spot in the lot, or at least uh, one of the closest spots. I just want to check my tires, make sure they don't need a air. I'm getting pretty bold though. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Done shopping 50 bucks later for all that crap back there. Well, it's saying still about 95 out there. So, Well, last night they had a Kenny Chesney uh, concert, and it looks like some people followed through. And because there's this Knoxville Tours, I don't know if that's out of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Time for the Friday night and yet. Uh, one of our his son got his ticket here uh, at Field Day. KB0 ZUU in and out tonight. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I doubled with somebody. Got a little bit of a collision. Marcus, I got you. KB0 ZUU. Yeah, I'm you in and out. I won what was the other station? For once. North American Tuso Party, which is states here, Arizona, Washington, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, and we're ready, so K9DD or, or K9DJ. Also got to go out and fly the quadcopter once or twice this afternoon. Took a little bit of damage, not much, but uh, could have been worse. The propellers here, I don't know, just a little, a little chewed up, but I have a few extras that came with it. So actually the camera is on the bottom here. It actually tip tilts down to about a 45 degree angle, and the battery is depleted, so I'll have to take it off there and put it back on the charger. I actually bought an extra one there for about an extra $8.99 when I bought it. Oh, there's the inappropriate Batman. 
So yeah, I'll be including a little bit of aerial footage and all that. Oh, this stuff gets loud, doesn't it? Anyway, back in here. Step on up. Just simply working on a $10 bike we picked up last night. I guess some people were getting ready to move and wanted to clean up their storage. So they had this sitting in there. It's upside down right now and everything because I'm adjusting the chain and the brakes and all that fun stuff. Um, some name brand. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's spelled P-E-U-G-E-O-T. Perot? Pergerot? Or whatever. It's, up, it's upside down right now. But, um, it's a pretty big frame. Tires, I'm pretty sure, are 26 inch, but the frame's a little bit taller than I thought it would be. But hey, for 10 bucks, it's in really good shape. It was a really good buy, so I'm just trying to uh, fix it up. It does need one cable that switches the uh, the, the main gear down uh, where your feet go, the, the uh, three sprocket one. But other than that, everything works just fine, and the, the tires actually hold air. So I uh, came up on a plus on that. This cable here with the uh, gear shifter there. It looked like somebody tried to paint it because it was white chip, white chipped uh, flaky paint on top of it just chipping up, flaking all over the place. There's some of it still on the ground there. If you can see that. But. So I just took some electric tape and wrapped it around. Of course it still doesn't adjust the uh, brakes down here. But it's already set on the, the, the center sprocket, so that's usually where I keep it at anyway. And the rest of it seems to work just fine. Just a little, little beat up, just needs a little cleaning up, a little TLC, a few modifications, and it'll be good for another few years. Never heard of this. Okay, going on a little trip on the bike just for adjustments. Clicky, well, not not the brakes, but the gears. That van's been sitting there, with that flat there for at least a week. Now, I, I don't think that's against.
guess there's a lot that happened like that, but um, I'm surprised they haven't gotten it towed because it's on a public street, it's not on their property. Okay, go down here in the park. And sorry about the wind noise, but that's just what happens. I usually go go down and fly the drone at because it's so close there's a big open area and if it gets stuck in a tree well that's not, not much of a problem well if it gets stuck in a tree it's a problem but if it falls in someone else's backyard they understand okay. we really work our brakes here pool's open today so Pretty good. All right. Well, we made it to the park with just one hand, one brake. Not bad. Yeah, every day we try to. Today, if I run into the fence, today we're sitting at just around 90 degrees. You see that? Just around 90 degrees. So we're not too bad today.